All right, so let's do one last problem here. So here it says we have a five card poker hand. What is the probability of being dealt exactly one ace and no pitcher cards? All right. Well, first of all, again, we have to remember what is the problem or the number of ways we can get five cards out of 52. And if we did that before, we had two, five, nine, and then we had eight, nine, six, so. All right. Now, thinking about how many ways we can get one ace. Well, there's four aces where being dealt one. Okay. So we're going to take that and then we're going to take that times what? Well, how many uh, possible cards are left after that? So how many pitcher cards are there? Well, there were, there's the jack, the king, and the queen. So there's three and there's three uh, of each suit. So there's going to be what? Four suits. And so that's going to be 12 uh, pitcher cards. We're also taking away the aces because we already figured that out. So there's four of those. So there's 16 cards basically we're getting rid of for these no pitcher cards. Because so no pitcher cards and we've already taken the aces into consideration. And so if we take 52 minus 16, that's going to be what? 36. So there's 36 cards left over. And we're choosing the last four. So we're going to take that times 36C4. And that will be then our numerator. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. And if we do that, we have the following. So we're going to have uh, math 3, 4, C1. So that's four, and then we have math, oops. And then the other one we had 36, so choose four, and that's that. So if we take that times four, that's going to be our numerator. And we're going to divide that by the two, five, nine, eight, nine, six, zero. And let's see if we can make that a fraction here. Oh, we can. Three, three over three, six, four. Okay. Now, if we don't want it to be a fraction, they want us as a decimal, we get this. And so, you know, out to three significant figures, that would be our answer. So now let's write down everything we had done here. All right. So that was... Uh, four times and we had five eight nine oh five and then when we multiplied that together we got two three five six two zero and so then the probability of this event one ace exactly and no picture cards was going to be two three five six two zero over two five nine eight nine six zero and we reduced that to 33 over 364 okay or if we wanted it as a decimal to three significant figures, 0 0.0907. So this would be the most exact. This would be a, you know, a rounded answer to three significant figures. All right. So that's all I have for this section. Hopefully that will help you.